Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport, where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. I really see myself whack myself in the head. But, you know, it was like, oh my God. get to the point and that's it. Especially if it's a subject that's not very exciting, oh. you know, like ball, like Joanne Worley, boring. Oh, so much of it is. My, um, we needed a substitute caregiver for my own mom yesterday. Oh, so, right. so guess what happened? The agency. You show. No, no, she showed her right. My sister told the this Dominican supervisor Adelsa. Please send somebody that speaks some English. Uh, guess what? This woman didn't speak one word of English. Oh, you can't deal with it. You can't do that. And guess what? It's a good thing I had a translator on my cell phone. Guess what? And guess what? I translated for her. She reads it and gets annoyed that I'm telling her stuff. Did you uh, call I, the agency? So this has got to stop. Oh, my, my sister left too long. At the, at the she told off that it, that we it, don't we don't we speak English. We want somebody who speaks English. But when a client tells you things about their their mom, you're supposed to like listen and pay attention That's to them. Good. This is not good. It's bad. This is not good. So when when the Russian representative comes over and brags about how big they are, oh, Carefinders is big. We bought out everybody. I don't want to hear nothing about how big your agency is because you well, suck. What a professional are you then if it's so good? Now, You're sending over people. I don't speak. I speak English. That's it. How is my Send mother? Over somebody who speaks English. You know, Billy, I was afraid to leave the house and go to the buffet yesterday because I was afraid that, you know, what if something happened? What is. Uh, how, does this woman know how to call 911 or my who sister? Who could you talk to? Who could you talk to? And I can't, I can't translate nothing to her in typing because she gets this mad at me. Not, this is not good. This is not good. Then she asses me, like, asses me, yeah, yeah. I, I, I asks me. She goes, one sixty three bus to Hackensack. How do I go? I'll show you. I gave her the directions for my house. She went two blocks down further. She didn't even follow my directions. 163 is always a bus to the to uh, uh, Hasbro Heights, the Boulevard. No, it's no, it's 163 is where the hotel takes everybody from right. the Boulevard. Right, but if you go the other way, it goes into Hackensack. It does. There's another one. Yeah, you, you know the uh, uh, Hasbro Heights City Hall. Yeah. Well, that bus stop is for the 163 coming back from the city. Why do they have two of the same number? Why do they give them different designations? Well, that when they come back, they go all the way to like Hackensack and whatever. It's stupid. It should be a different number. That's a different route. Why are you using a different well, route? Well, what I'm with saying, what I'm saying is, 163 going one way takes you to Port Authority, New York City, but coming back, it goes through all the Hackensack stops. That's stupid. That's dumb. 164, 160. That's, that's dumb. I said, don't, don't take 164. It'll take you into the Meadowlands by the racetrack. 
take 163. I give her to her. She does whatever she wants to do. Okay, you know what? Screw this, man. Do whatever you want. Nobody, nobody listens. My dad again? You can't get through to people. And this is why, this is exactly when my new hernia surge, uh, my new hernia tear flares up is when I get aggravated. No, no, a hernia should not flare up over aggravation. No, that's wrong. It well, not well it, over aggravation. If for some reason, well, I flinch and my ab, my abdominal muscle, like you gotta, when, when, you gotta get that checked. Well, I'm getting a check, I'm getting a check uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Like when Elaine, when Elaine, thinking of Seinfeld, when, uh, when Eileen looks at you in the eye, lies to you, and never pays attention to a word you say. always know when she's caught because you get the two. <laughs> Nervous laugh. Uh -huh. I said, uh, remember I said, I said, I said, you gotta stop the line. I said, it's gotta stop. <coughs> well, knock on, there's no wood to knock on, but thank God, thank God the central air is working today here. Yeah, but this morning it was working too, and you didn't need it. it was, I had to wear your, your your jacket. I was freezing. Thank God I had your jacket. I put it on. I said, oh, okay. I'm sure. I had it zipped up all the front. I said, what? You don't need it at all. It's it's sixty some odd degrees outside. It's funny how you you your your intuition is accurate about when you come here in the morning. I know. You bring the jacket. <laughs> I knew. I said it's going to be cold. Sure enough, I could come over there when I was sat out. From having a cigarette, the windows were all fogged up, meaning the air was all with the humidity outside. I said, "Oh God!" You know, the, gr the great right. thing about that fleece is when when you zip it to the top, it's like having a scarf. I, know. I said, "It's freezing in here." I said, the first thing I want is, why do you have the air on?" Yeah, didn't they hear? Didn't they ever hear of numbers on a thermostat? You would no, just no, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to work. No. They don't. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty, it's like, stupid. pathetic. No, it's downright stupid. I mean, anybody who goes to school in any country knows about numbers. No, they don't hear. But there's a lot of air traffic today, Billy. The, the private planes are taking off and landing, like... Oh, now let me go get a coffee. Unbelievable. That's, that's called having contempt for your customers. You just, you know, See, with, with Valley Home Care, I never had one. Everybody they sent was phenomenal. Everybody. Yeah, because Valley are, Valley has professionals working for them. They are, 24 hours. They were there, they call, I'm on my way, Mr. Bar, I'll be there in the blah, blah, blah minutes, right on the button. It's called two, three, four. It's called Valley Home Care? The Valley Home Care. And they're, ta they're connected with Valley Hospital yeah. in Ridgewood? You know, I'm going to tell my sister about them. That, thank you for telling me. You better write it down. You're going to forget. Well, who could forget Valley Home Care? Well, you might. You know, I think Valley something, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, well, Valley Hospital is famous. Valley Home Care. They are tremendous. I think Every he, single one. I think even Richard Nixon was in Valley. Boy, the work they did on my dad, it was incredible. From the nurses to the home health aides, it was just wonderful. Never, I have not one complaint, not one. They were great. And, you know, they all came from great backgrounds, the nurses and everything. And I bet they screened all their applicants very well. Probably. Oh, unbelievable. That, that, is, that is the most irregular looking line I've ever seen. Oh, there is no line. This is BS. And get it covered. Yeah. Look, it just shows you can make money and not know what you're doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't know what you're doing and you can make money still. It's amazing. Well, look at that. Ever since when I was a kid and I heard that guy Anthony Newley sing, I says, you know what? Anything's possible in America if they let this guy be on talk shows and make and make a ton of money. What about William Shatner? Yeah, but you know it's Captain Kirk. You gotta love Captain Kirk. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, you don't. Know. You're making me laugh, man. Oh, oh man. Mm -hmm.
hey, all these bikes are lined up like they're pack, like leader of the pack. Like they probably told them stop laying them down, like they were doing and blocking it. You can't come in and throw your bike down and block people. That's insurance. That's a liability hazard. People, somebody will trip right over that. Unbelievable. Yeah, like, like as far as believe me, there are people. Aside from Eileen and Donald Trump, that profusely lie all the time, and I and I, I hate catching people in lies. I get a text, right? All the things you call, I call her in the hoarding. She doesn't. You said she does. She goes, "Well, I keep a lot of stuff." Then why do you say you don't? I'm here at three fifteen every day. So you know, and everything that I say, you're not listening. I am listening. I know what you said. I don't forget what you said. Really? Then you deny it. I said, you deny everything you now, said. Now you Your brother makes 80 grand. Your brother doesn't even make 40 grand. I said, stop. My brother has power of attorney. My brother doesn't care about my problems. power of attorney lets you sign the document. And she's not even sure if he does. She is totally like Andromeda Galaxy. What you say when they go out, he doesn't... Care he doesn't her acknowledge or... her problems. Then why did you give him power of attorney? Right. Oh, but oh, by the way, that's the those are the kind of long sleeve shirts I like. It's like yeah. denim. denim. Yeah, it's I got a whole stack of them from Kmart. Uh, Route six. I, know, I got this today at uh, Walmart. They got good ones. Roots. No, they don't. They don't have much. Well, I mean, Kmart had Roots. Kmart's better. Route sixty six hey, brand. But the best I like are Target and Coles. They really have nice selections. Yeah. I'm glad there's still more Kmart's in northern New Jersey. Well, there aren't many. There's not many, but the Route 66 brand, remember that beautiful blue denim it was? God, uh, I love denim, but go to Target and Kohl's. They always have quality well, stuff. You get two nice... You know, Walmart, I can't even get over-the-cap tube socks, ever. I gotta have over-the-cap... Uh, uh, ankle socks are about as gay as there is. No, I gotta have over-the-cap... Over that's all I've ever worn. Over-the-cap over the tube. Sports... Or work heavy duty work socks. No, it's gonna be over the cap too. That's all I've worn my whole life with football and everything. Speaking of socks, what, what did that 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 college football so song "Buckle Down and Win Socky" mean? What the hell's "Win Socky"? I don't know what you're talking about. Buckle down, win socky. Buckle. I don't know what you're talking really? about. Really? No. It's like that dumb Bula Bula song. Some stupid college. Song. Anyway, I'm watching the Travel Channel last night. All right, watching uh, Dead Files, I get a text. 609 New Jersey area code. How about you? Somebody says, Hi, James, how are you? I go, Don't act like you know me, I don't know you. Who's this? I says, Oh, you don't know who this is? I go, I don't know you by your, I don't know you by your phone number. Uh, you uh, Could you please identify yourself? And then eventually, they identify, the, the person identifies himself. I said, "Why didn't you say that at the beginning?" Yeah. Hi, J hi, James. This is so and so. So and so. Hi, James. How you doing? You know, my sarcastic answer was, if I was that psychic, I would be having the Powerball lottery number winnings every well, who week. Who was it? It was somebody I, I I knew. But don't just send me a freaking like. Don't just send me a text with a with a cell phone number. Oh, it was a text. I says, I want you to know, I'm not. I'm old fashioned. I'm really not into texting. I says, if you can't speak to me, uh, yeah, and don't say, hi, uh, James, how are you? Or guess who this is? Now, you play that game. I, I don't answer you. A phone is a phone is a phone. You know how I feel about texting. Well, you know, millennials are, are addicted to texting. You know that. Also, it does it for high kids. Hi. It affects the brain waves. It's just been registered by who? Who World Health Organization as an addiction? Electromagnetic. And I've told all you people how many years I've been saying this shit is bullshit. It's crap. It can cause brain tumors. It can cause a lot of things. It's causing teenage suicide rates are up. Suicide phone calls are up. They're going up big time. Now they're finding suicide rates are climbing in preschool. And not preschool, but. Like, Single digit age kids, six to nine or whatever. This is bad. I see kids crossing Main Street and Lower Eye, not even looking both ways. They're like this, Billy. The phone's right here. That's all. And, and what are they doing? I see the thumbs going like this. 
And what did it, who's it all come back to? My dad again, right? You can't get through to people. You, you tell them, you tell them, and they will listen. It just doesn't make sense. You know, there's nothing like old-fashioned eye-to-eye communication. Can't beat that. Or, or even or even get on a freaking phone and talk. You well, know, I, you know I, have, I have a flip phone. I don't, I don't like smartphones. I think they're bullshit. They're addictive. Well, I and they're abused. I, I do. It does help my insomnia in a certain way because what I'll do is, as I, I'm watching something. I want, let's say I'm watching a science channel. I'm in bed, right? I'm trying to sleep, right? I'm watching a document. Oh, I was watching Ancient Aliens last oh. night. I go on Twitter. So I'm tweeting beep, 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 as I'm watching Ancient Aliens. So it like pacifies because when you're when you're alone and it's late at night, you have too much time to think, and that's my detriment. I have to occupy my mind and knock myself out. It's like yeah, like it's electronic shit though. It's shit though. Yeah, I mean sometimes like with healthcare, technology is wonderful. I mean, arthroscopic or laparoscopic surgeries. Certain things, you know. Most things, or a lot of things, it's unnecessary. Remember when you used to talk about sound waves destroying tumors? Well, they have sound wave uh, machines now. Now, how long? Well, 20, I was, what, how many decades ahead of the time? I said, remember I used to preach sound is the most helpful or detrimental thing on the planet. It can do anything you want it to do. People don't get it. And now they're just doing things with it. And, 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 I, and I enlighten people that if our system, think about this, if our, if our system is really fair and honest, Nikola Tesla will be, in our, will be in our history books instead of Thomas Edison who sold out to J.P. Morgan. I said, you know how, how advanced that man was, Nikola well, Tesla, Tesla? Tesla, he admitted he was given help by aliens. And so was Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun. Well, he pointed, they showed him on camera. He pointed, I had a lot of help. Maybe Edgar Casey got his visions well, very from. Very possibly, very probably. Like you were telling me. You want to find out if Casey did? Edgar Casey, yeah, the Sleeping Prophet. Edgar Casey, the Sleeping Prophet. Did he receive most of his information from alien, the Anunnaki, or other alien beings? Because, you know, he wasn't really, he wasn't educated. He was a country bumpkin. He was a farm boy. Was it from the Anunnaki? There you go. There you go. I always heard things that he was. And, and, and when ancient aliens show skeletons with the elongated head going backwards, yeah. they feel they were high, they were de they were hybrids. They were extraterrestrial well, hybrids. None of the pharaohs were. None of them. Oh, they didn't have None them. of them were uh, alien. Maybe evolution was an extraterrestrial oh, experiment. Me, wise me. There's a good part of me. Anunnaki, yes. Or any of the ancient pharaohs, no. Yeah. Well, Think I, t I, I told um, someone that if if Darwin's theory... That's not right. Why? How come there's not apes right now walking out of the, uh, out of the jungle, there, upright? There are. Yeah, they're called Donald Trump supporters. McDonald's customers. Yeah, right, and, and chimpanzees. Yeah, actually, what, that's what, funny. What, what is it? What? Oh, uh, evolution. Evolution, I think, is an extraterrestrial, was an extraterrestrial experiment. Was Darwin's theory of evolution correct at all? <laughs> there you go. Was Darwin completely off course and off base? There you, go. you know what? After the buffet, I go into the doll zone, and the first thing I do is look for the amulets. Oh, you got one? No, no. He, no, the Indian guy that runs it, he says. That Impala is a nice looking car. I love that. Look at that. You know, even in the old days, the Impala was highly rated, yeah, and the Chevy Nova. They should make an SS model again. Look at that, that's sleek. Would you like the, well, the, the Pontiacs, the Pontiacs, the Pontiac Grand Prix. Nice car. Was a great car. Oh, the Oldsmobile Cutlass was, was a Phenomenal. big seller too. Yeah. And the Buick Regal. 
Um, well, a lot of the viewers, the Regal, the Skylark, Riv the Great Riv Sporty Car, Riviera, the Riviera had some great, great years. Um, uh, the Skylark was a great sporty little car. I rode in a in a Buick um, Regal, and it was very smooth. Yeah, solid, man. Oh. Olds was always a well-built hard, hard car. My, my, when I was a kid, my uncle John had a, had a Bonneville. That was their, that was like the Impala. That, that was the Bonneville. Bonneville was a nice car. Yeah. Oh. A lot of those cars were phenomenal. I, re, I remember the Chrysler Imperial. That was their answer was to nice. Cadillac. That was nice. That was their answer to Cadillac. That was a nice car. Then they got rid of that, and their top of the line was a New Yorker. Yes, that's true. All the classic, I love, I love seeing restored classics. Look at the, the new Buick out there, look how sleek that is. That's nice, it's beautiful. Oh, it does. Chrysler did a great job in their retro line, all their retro line. The, the, the Challenger, the Charger's pretty nice. They're bringing back the, the Barracuda. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Yes. Well, they try to do that with the Mustang. They try to come back Mustang's with it. Mustang's always a great car. Retro. Oh, well, Mustang's Mustang. great. Camaro. <laughs> Corvette phenomenal. Cadillac is one of the greatest cars made. Is that the Z28? Z28, was that, a, that was a Camaro? That was, but they don't have the Z28 now. You have the SS oh. and other, other models, but not a Z28. But, uh, these are great cars. Look at this line. Look at this shit. I got plenty of coffee. Actually, I got my mug in the car with coffee in it now. Yeah, this is bullshit. I got worried. Really, come on. It's ridiculous, man. You can't even go in and enjoy yourself anymore. Don't they? Oh, wait, 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 wait. The other guy we were talking about was Tesla. Oh, Edgar Casey, yes. Did get help from extraterrestrial sources, yeah. Was Nicholas Te Tesla giving great information from alien beings was it the Anunnaki there you go are the Anunnaki the most advanced race of all the alien of, of, of the I don't know what I asked are they the race the alien race that's responsible for everything here on earth You know the Hopi, in, the Hopi Indians. Do they call them the the star the star people or the sky gods? Something, something like star that. people. Yeah, they even visited the Hopis. They visited a lot of different. The Incas, countries. even the they say the, the Incas, Mayas, the Aztecs. Look at the, yeah. look at the, at the, 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 the uh, pyramids. And the Nazca, the Nazca, the Na, you know the uh, the drawings of Nazca on the Peruvian in the Peruvian desert. And what about Easter Island? No, oh, then the the base what everybody knows Atlantis. <laughs> They were supposedly highly technological in there. They had the death ray back then, oh, oh, 10,000 years ago. You're talking about 10,000 years ago. <clears throat> they had a lot of stuff. And they were, they were talking... aqueducts. Ancient Rome had aqueducts, water aqueducts, yeah. plumbing, plumbing, come on. Now those sta those um, statues on Easter Island, they were to the 75 tons, some of them? Today's modern equipment can lift them. And the block, I told you about the coral compound in Florida. You know they made a replica of one of the Easter Island statues in, in a university in the United States. They showed it on ancient, ancient aliens. Out of a material that was equally heavy? E equally in, in size and weight, they could not transport it. No, you can't. They tried every which way to try to drag it and what. Today's greatest machinery can't lift the heavy equipment. Look can't at look at the limestone blocks that went into the pyramids, how heavy they were. That was levitation. So was the uh, the coral compound yeah. in Florida. You've seen that, right? And, you know, and people would say, Remember what I told you, and I asked the amulet years ago, is everything even before man recorded visually and audibly? And I said, yes. Yeah. So many history is all recorded. Except the ancients had verbal verbal history. They, no, I'm they told the Anunnaki recorded yeah. everything about the creation yeah. of man and everything before man. You know, before man, they even brought man here. I mean, even even if you you drag a limestone block on a wooden sled, you still have to elevate it. It's not going that way. How are you going to it's elevate not going it? To work. You can't do that. No. 
So much is common sense in life. You know, not a lot of it. You know, getting back to this place, the guy that looked like Popeye, the old guy that looked oh, like yeah. he looks just like Popeye. That's why I call him Popeye. Oh, that's the original. That's the one I call Popeye. That's oh, how I, I know. Popeye, that's him. That's him. I, I, I blow me down. You want to know what I think? He gets upset because they said, no, yeah, I really don't. Yeah, Papa used to say, well, blow me down, whatever the hell that yeah. was. But anyway, I think he was talking to olive oil. He, okay, he says, this place has probably the best location of any fast food restaurant you can think of. They and they don't there. care. And they don't right. care about it. The owner does. I don't. He's so greedy that if he put thought into this franchise you can't you just you just cannot beat this location no, I never perfect. and you have a walk-in business a lot from the hotel and it, come in here. not only from pilots from the airport but tourism a European tourist stay there so you got the, the traffic and the walk-in Right, you got Route 17 traffic, right, exactly. Route 17 traffic and the walk-ins. And you got the people coming through from the back. Well, actually, that it's kind of stupid that they don't have a two-lane exit onto Ottawa. Maybe the town is a wow, I'm sure, I guess. Oh, yeah, you know. Let's be honest, there's no real problem there. You don't see a problem. You know, guy, when I was going out, he was coming in. I just waited. He came right in. and went out. That's all. Well, you know why? You know why Kenny Kenny Rogers Roasters had to close down in Fairlawn because the old oh, bags, the, smell, the old bags were complaining about. The smell was all over the neighborhood. But it was wonderful. Right off, I know. What could What could be better than smelling old fashioned barbecue with wood, with wood charcoal, marinated chicken? And I mean, what could be better than that? What do you want to smell, you dumb old bags? You want to smell of carbon monoxide? Give me a break. Hey, bitch, would you rather smell my underwear? I've been wearing it for two months. Yeah, you ever hear a swamp ass, you old, yeah, you old I bitch? Smell it, it's a swamp bitch. Well, you know, some some old 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 people have nothing better to do than to bitch and complain. Bitch. bitch. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. I like when they say, well, I never. I said, no, and you probably never will, okay? And what about when they brag about their grandchildren? Like, no one else has grandchildren. No one else ever had your babies. Grand, your grandkids ugly. Oh, they got upset. No, your that. kid is not as special and precious and as you think they are. It's like it's like when the father yells at the coach. Look. Special. Special. You mean he's mentally handicapped? You have special Olympics. are all handicapped. Yeah, you ever, you ever see these fathers scream at the baseball coach, the Little League coaches? They're worse than the kids. The kids don't do that. I says, you know what? Maybe your kid's on the bench for a reason. You know, maybe... Yeah, but at that age, I do agree, they need some playing minutes. Well, that's why you have practice. Well, no, they have to play in a real game. They, they deserve that. Well, they have to play. They're horrible at an early age. Put them in for a couple minutes, at least. Under, to, get them used to Let stress. Them get in there. Let them get in there. Like, like when you went on the field, all right, stadium full of people, you got to get used to that stress. Well, if you're focused enough, you shouldn't even know the people are around you. Yeah. What are, what's the old saying about entertainers just look at the front row? Yeah, they don't look at everything. Never look beyond the front no, row. You don't. You focus and that's about it, really. No, I'm sorry. Karen said hi. I didn't even... She did? Yeah. Karen? Hi, Karen. I'm sorry. Jimmy. It, it's really extra busy today. No, Jimmy doesn't want to talk to you, Karen. We're, we're leaving, though, so. But at least. Well, the good thing is Eileen is not here to aggravate us. <laughs> oh, you're going, um, you're going to have uh, some seafood for dinner? You know, they should really, being that they're from New England, they should really keep the lobster roll. They shouldn't get rid of the lobster roll, you know. Wow, that's so good. They should. Hey, how was the sure? Oh, it was a good sure. Oh, that's time? right. The weather wasn't that great, but it was, I rested a lot. <laughs> Where'd you go to Wildwood? No, uh, the seaside. Oh, okay. My parents are going to Wildwood tomorrow. How long? A week. I love Wildwood. What's a Wildwood crest? 
It's great. It's great. Is that like an amusement park or oh, one of the best boardwalks you'll ever go to? You know, it, it's incredible. You know, they did a thing on the Travel Channel or the Food Channel. Uh, you know, all the marinas like Little Lake Harbor, uh, Ocean City, New Jersey. They have like family-owned businesses for generations, and that they they have fresh seafood coming in, and, and uh, that's what they do. They can it, they package it and sell it. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. There's a lot of history in New Jersey that, you know, people think, when they think in New Jersey, they always make jokes about the Turnpike and Elizabeth. Mm, not so much anymore. We're not the, you're not a laughing stock that we used to be. No. There's a lot of it's great... Like you don't hear Polish jokes anymore. The Polish yeah. aren't laughed at like they used to be. No, I... You know, I things go through I mean, periods. And... I went to Reddington to the Hot Air Balloon Festival and Eddie Money was singing there. Were you down there? Yeah, he was singing there, and um, you know it was great to see him sing the old song. And you see the balloons up in the sky. He's a cop. Eddie Money. New York City cop. You know who's a, a former Camden, New Jersey cop? When Camden was a nice town. Well, uh, well Camden was never a nice town. No, Jimmy. we're talking about nineteen late nineteen forties. Uh, maybe. Uh, Nature Boy Buddy Rogers, a very famous professional wrestler. Who's a world heavyweight champion? Nature Boy Buddy Rogers was originally. I was a buddy of mine yesterday. He's a, he's a corporate pilot, and I didn't find out till yesterday. I, he's a former cop. I said you were a cop. Really? Yes, I've been years. Oh, you said I never knew that. I said I am shocked. What's going on? Oh, Manafort is has got to work with. Uh, yeah, Mueller. With Mueller now, he has no choice. Yeah. Paul Manafort. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What I asked people the other day and whatever, they all shut right up. Said, Look me in the eye right now, you tell me what's good. They can't answer. Don't me. ask me how everything is. Yeah. What's good? That's all I want to know. What's good? So they want me to lie to them. They, they can't answer. Oh, I'm great, man. I'm Joe, the old guy. Yeah. I said, your son passed away over oh, two years ago. Your other son will not have a thing to do with you or speak to you at all. Your wife left you. I said, your ex-wife and everybody else, your grandkids can't stand you. I said, what's good? And he sat there right in the car. I said, I, I don't hear you. I guess people want me to lie to them. Yeah, you want me to make something up? Like like uh, this girl I used to work with in the vitamin shop years ago, Alana. She lives in Upper Saddle River in a mansion. She's got a new BMW. Her mother's uh, a millionaire psychologist. Gave her money to open up a... a um, uh, what do you call uh, her own business? She says, James, it's been a long time. How, how have you been? I says, eh, I'm hanging in there. Oh, she says, you're only hanging in there? I, no, I, I just won the Powerball lottery. Uh, website too? No, I used to work with her in, on roof, roof four in Paramus. Where? The, the, the other vitamin shop. Did she worked there? She was so wealthy? Well, she, 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 she wanted her own place and her mother, her mother, I think, gave her an allowance, but still wanted her to be responsible for, you know, so. And she's giving you a lot of bullshit, too. Yeah, I think, I think she got more allowance than. Everybody's got an aunt or an uncle who's worth hundreds of millions. Then when they're broke and need money, then, oh, yeah. I can't call them, I can't call them. No, but I did see her car. It was like a brand new top of the line BMW sports car. So what? I know Stacy from over here. She had a 650 as high as you can get him with BMW. She got that through a settlement with her ex-boyfriend. That doesn't mean a damn thing. Yeah, well, I guess people want us to lie. Otherwise, they'll call us negative. They do bullshit. They do lie. Oh, negativity. No, I'm being realistic. Honesty, not negativity. Yeah, yeah. People don't get it. Well, they don't. I'm going back to my dad every time, doesn't he? He can't get through to me. Yeah, but your father was a world-class businessman. Yeah. Yeah, he knew. All right, I'll see you, Billy. Okay. I'll see ya. Oh, well, that's it for progressive discussions on location. And uh, and uh, it happens to be Saturday afternoon. We had a good, invigorating conversation. Myself and. Uh, Commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL quarterback, William H. Morrow III. Very invigorating indeed. 
And uh, I could feel autumn is in the air, definitely. You know what amazes me? I'm, I see small cars with out-of-state license plates from far away. And it makes me think, my God, they, they drove that many hours? They drove that many hours in that small vehicle? My lower back would be killing me. Killing me, absolutely killing me. All right, let me get out of here. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.